go ahead to get to it. Our next match is a singles match scheduled for one fall. One fall! And it is for the PWF Undisputed Championship. in the electric atmosphere in the Carolina Wrestling Academy. We wish you were here with us for a main event worthy of the distinction. Without any hyperbole, one of the biggest and most anticipated rematches in the history of this organization. The Dreadlock Demolition Machine Bojack defends the undisputed PWF championship against the man he took the title from some 322 days ago, Mason Miles. 
So much history between these two men. We will get into that as this matchup progresses. Both men, you can already tell, both men pacing themselves for a long fight. And it does feel like a big fight. Whoa! The Bojack is so explosive! Flings the challenger across the ring. And we may not have time to get into the history between these two men if Bojack gets rolling. Swing and a miss. Head scissors, good move. Sends Bojack into the corner, could not take him off his feet though. Bojack's so big and so massive and so fast. Oh! Just ran right through the challenger. This is a rematch from June 2021. Bojack defeated Miles for the title. Miles at the time, the longest reigning undisputed champion in PWF history at 702 days. As Miles was training for his rematch, he suffered a knee injury, was out seven months. In that seven months, Bojack has defended that championship 12 times successfully. Oh! Defeating men like J.D. Drake, John Davis, Jigsaw, Jimmy Lloyd. Mm. Miles fires away. Oh! Very similar dynamic to what we saw in our Crystal Coast Oceanic Championship match. A lot of mutual respect between these two men. Miles at the time of the injury, quite frankly, was not the most popular guy in town. But in over, in, in nearly a year on the shelf, has come back a changed man. This is his first match in a PWF ring in nearly a year. Cover. And right there you just saw what will be a developing story throughout this matchup. Miles is a great technical wrestler. He can at times be a classless brawler. But Miles will have to overcome the sheer size and strength of Bojack. Bojack with the delayed vertical suplex and he may hold him there all night. A thunderous crash. And that is what the former champion has got to avoid. He has got to avoid cover. And once again, great camera work from the floor camera. You saw Miles struggling to break free. When you have a size advantage like Bojack has in this matchup, you may not have to necessarily knock the wind out of the man. Oh, that will certainly do it. You might just be able to just lay on him. Oh boy, oh boy. Enormous senton. And Miles will have to overcome that obstacle. There is simply no two ways about it. For Mason Miles to regain the championship that he held for over 700 days, he must find a way to withstand the onslaught because Bojack brings the onslaught no matter what. Miles will have to have a master plan here tonight. Bojack. Everything that Bojack does hurts you. And again, there has been mutual respect between these two men but only one can be atop the mountain. Frog Splash, no water in the pool, but Bojack avoided the impact on his body, but he took impact on his knees. And that could be a developing story as this matchup continues on. Miles fires away. I don't know if striking will be his best friend in this matchup. 
But any man can get knocked out. That could be the strategy here from Mason Miles. Any man can get knocked out. And Miles is unloading the arsenal on Bojack. Bojack still up in the corner. The ropes may have kept Bojack on his feet there. Boss man slam! Caught him! Laying on him! <clears throat> Miles is out at two. Crowd here with a lot of respect for both men. The PWF faithful have seen both of these great champions successfully defend their title a dozen times. Bojack has the same number of successful title defenses as Miles in roughly half the time. A fighting champion the likes of which we have never seen. A young man eager to prove himself as not just the top prospect, not just the top young wrestler, but one of the top wrestlers in the game. And Miles made a costly mistake. Miles dove with everything he had, but it was not enough to take Bojack down. Ah, planted him! Dead center of the ring! Two! And I will say, what may have saved Mason Miles right there is that there was no body weight on top of him in that sit-out cover. Miles was able to wiggle free. He did not have to maneuver the body weight off of him. Bojack just plants him in another cover. Miles surviving everything. Man alive, that's well over 300 pounds. Just sitting on the, on the man's back. I'm gonna sit here all day. I'm gonna sit here all day. Bojack said we will sit here all day. Bojack did not come tonight to make friends. He came tonight to prove his dominance. Again, very similar to our Oceanic title match that we just saw between the Infinite Man and Diego Hill. A respectful rivalry that has broken out between these two. Back elbow. Miles has survived a lot. But you must weather the storm when you're in there with Bojack. And man alive, Bojack using every moment of that five count. And just clubbing away is the champion. The champion just clubbing away on the challenger. Bojack showing unbelievable intensity. Look at the eyes of Mason Miles. He knows he is in a fight. Miles, quite frankly, has won a lot of people over in his time off dealing with injury. He has, the classless one has shown a lot of class, believe it or not. Miles' best openings thus far have been when he has created space for himself. Second rope, it did not work earlier in the contest. Hooking DDT, got nothing. Bojack throws him off. And Miles again is clubbing away. Again, so much heart, so much passion. But can he, can he put a dent in this big man's offense? Miles charges. Mm. Again, any man can get knocked out. That may be what Miles is going for here. Second time that he has emptied the clip on Bojack. Trying to get some momentum behind him. Miles has created space here. Third or fourth time, he has come in with that big knee strike. That knee is catching Bojack right under the chin, but again, the ropes and the buckle are holding him up. Sling Blade finally gets the big man down. But look at all the effort and energy that Miles had to put into taking this big man down. Cover. Only two. Referee Yolanda Wright. 
Miles loves to use that leaping DDT. It did not work previously. Got him on the second go around. Miles got him on the second attempt at the leaping DDT. Can he roll those massive shoulders to the mat? Using his whole body to get on top. Cover! Only two. Yolanda. If Yolanda says only two, and you see the face of Mason Miles. A championship struggle between two great champions. I wish my old friend Jakob was here with me calling the action. We're all thinking about you. And these guys are wrestling their hearts out for everyone here at the Carolina Wrestling Academy. Bojack blocked it and drilled it. Bojack just screaming, animalistic, and the big man goes to the second rope. Bojack goes to the second rope. Oh dear, oh dear! A thunderous superplex and both men are down. A thunderous superplex, both men down. And the locker room has emptied. Wrestlers from throughout the night have come around the ring. The locker room has emptied for this huge main event matchup. The spirit of competition alive and well. Here at the Carolina Wrestling Academy. Bojack drills him again. Miles has shown amazing resiliency to stand and fight with the champion. Oh, but Bojack may be just too strong. He weakened the knees of the challenger. Miles overhand. Oh! So much toughness on display from both champion and challenger as the locker room has emptied to see who will be the king of the hill, who will be at the top of the mountain. Jeez. I don't know how you beat this man. Bojack, could be the lariat. This is a fight stopper. Oh man, he's getting so much momentum behind him. Miles springs up DDT. Holds on to the man. Second time. Stuck him with it. Mason Miles. Giving it everything he's got to regain the championship. Three straight tornado DDTs. Cover hooks that, oh dear, oh dear. And the face of these two men, the faces tell the story. Miles does not know what to do. And Bojack says, keep coming. Oh. Bojack, fireman's carry. Bojack bomb stuck him. Two. This match eerily similar to the match in which Bojack won the championship, except in that match, it was all Mason Miles at the start and Bojack rallied at the end. Bojack survived everything Miles threw at him in their first matchup. And on this night, it is Mason Miles who is surviving everything that Bojack is throwing at him. The champion, not sure of his next move. Oh. That big lariat is nothing less than a fight stopper. Ooh. Jeez, back elbow! 
eerily reminiscent of their first match. Oh! Bojack runs over the official! Oh! Miles had to avoid that lariat! He had to avoid the lariat! But referee Yolanda Wright has been not just compromised, but brutalized by that lariat. Tornado DDT! Another huge Tornado DDT! Mason Miles is trying to run towards the finish line here, but the other officials are helping Miss Yolanda out of the ring. We don't have an official. We do not have an official. Miles has got an opening here. Oh, Bojack is already starting to get, starting to stir. Five or six huge DDTs could barely keep this man down. Miles plotting his next move. Oh. Oh, and everyone at ringside is pleading with Mason Miles. Everyone is so proud of the, the personal progress that this young man has made in the past six or seven months. Miles may be looking to return to his classless ways. No, Donnie Ray. You got this far, you don't want to win like this. Donnie Ray pleading with Miles to keep this thing above the line. Believing what I am seeing here. Oh, Matt, Jay Malachi in the ring. Donnie Ray just popped Jay Malachi. What is going on here? What is going on? Fluffman on the apron. Wait a minute. Chance Riser from the floor. Chance Riser from the floor. Oh, God. What is happening? Six or eight guys have been laid out at ringside. What is happening here? Cover. Jack survives! I said that Mason Miles would have to have a master plan. He may have had one, and it may not be enough. Oh, spiked him! Oh, he spiked him on the top of the head! right where that chair shot connected. Good Lord, how much trauma to the top of the head can Bojack take? That's eight or nine huge shots right to the head. Miles has focused his attack on disorienting the big man. He's dropped him on his head half a dozen times. Oh God. Late from the top rope! Cover! My God! My God! Mason Miles and Chance Riser embrace! Miles has recaptured the title! Mason Miles has recaptured the title. And has most certainly proven himself once again to be classless.
A more appropriate moniker has never been bestowed as Miles once again proves himself to be completely classless. Now on the shoulders of Chance Riser and Donnie Ray. I do not know what this is about, but we have seen history made. Mason Miles has recaptured the championship. I said earlier in the night that Mason Miles would have to have a master plan. I did not know at the time how right I was. It took over half a dozen shots to the head. And I am no medical professional, but Bojack could easily be concussed after that much blood force trauma. This night has taken a turn that no one could have expected as the former champion is down in the ring Bojack just starting to stir again he took so many hard shots to the head just a brutal onslaught from the challenger now champion as Bojack begins to collect himself. Folks, it has been an unbelievable night. And thanks to Mason Miles, Chance Riser, and Donnie Ray, it has turned out to be the worst of times so long from the Crystal Coast.